Folks, it's almost hard to believe that there was another uh, Russian failed uh, space endeavor. I mean, recently we had the Phobos grunt, but it's way more than that, folks. This is, this is, uh, you know, multiple times they have had failures, and it's not just to Mars. It's it's other satellites, just like this one. This was a communication satellite, and you got to say, well, either they're screwing up this bad, you know, a lot of the time, or something else is going on. Now we've heard two pretty good theories, uh, and we've been asking around a fair bit since this story broke. Uh, the first one involves basically this change in physics that's going on. This changes, this earth changes that we're looking at. You know, decay rates are changing. We have a lot of odd things going on on the planet. And, you know, we have talked to you a lot about the critical frequencies in the F1 layer. Uh, we think this is a great way to tell something uh, weird is going on. Now, real quick, what the critical frequency is, is that's the highest frequency wave that can be skipped or bounced off of that layer of our ionosphere back down to the Earth for uh, you know radio transmission or what have you. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to start here in 1998, 1999, and we're going to look at the critical frequencies all the way up to the present. Now, what you're going to look for here is the strength, uh, the height of this chart is going to indicate the electrostatic discharge uh, in that layer, and therefore how you know juiced up how strong those layers are now here we are approaching uh, solar maximum getting in here to the year 2000 2001 this is at solar maximum you're gonna see go back down slightly now we had an extra long solar minimum here in the first uh, decade of the new millennium um, but even before we start to come out of this solar minimum something strange starts to happen with the critical frequencies in the F1 layer um, and this is <laughs> I mean it's plain to see uh, and we're more than a, you know, a year and a half away from solar maximum, and we're already looking at this. Uh, you know, you don't have to look very hard to find uh, information about some things changing going on right now. We're going to put links to some videos below: Solar Convincing, Dear NASA, and another one: Harp Sun and World War III. These are just a good little place to start, some starting blocks if you want to learn a little bit more about the F1 layer and some solar uh, worries that we're having. You know, the second theory uh, about how. Uh, you know these Russian satellites would be going down would be HARP you know there was a lot of speculation as to whether or not a HARP had something to do with the failure of the Phobos grunt and you know while there's no real evidence to suggest that the science is certainly says it's possible uh, as well as Stanford University we're gonna put this link below as well uh, it's called Earth's electromagnetic vulnerability uh, it gives a good uh, introduction into how harp like technology uh, even if used uh, benignly for scientific purposes could be dangerous not only to satellites but could make us more vulnerable to space weather keep an eye on all this uh, stuff folks and be safe